Hello YouTube and welcome to my Hearts Flying 3 Let's Play or welcome back or rather um, so as you can see it's the 1st of November 1941 I think that's the latest save and we are still pushing on into Soviet territory we need a few more victory point provinces think actually we need a lot more so let me take a look at the situation I have not even loaded the save and sorry for taking such a long time to upload more Hearts of Iron videos it, it's just because I didn't really get into the mood to play more Hearts of Iron but now I am and I'll be doing some more Hearts of Iron videos for you guys. Alright, so let's see our technology. Infantry tech seems very good. Armor as well. Destroyer tech is good. Balish cruiser tech is good. Bomber tech is good. This one as well. Uh, I'll just research more of this tech. Aero engine level 3, we need that researched. Should be helpful. More agriculture, hmm. Don't really need it when we have a monthly monthly gain of 87.8 manpower. Alright, so... Oh, we need the mechanized offensive? No, we don't since we're not actually using mechanized, motorized, or cab anymore. Maybe operational level command structure. Yeah, we have some nice free leadership, so why not use it on that? Elastic defense, mobile warfare. Really, now I'm researching this stuff, not because we need it, it's be because we have so much leadership that we can afford to research stuff we previously couldn't. Alright, so we got these divisions encircled. Now let's go ahead and unpause. On this bell over here. Now it really doesn't seem like uh, they can do much to us right now because they have so few forces and they're so thinly spread out. Oh, but I like what the AI is doing here. It's trying to prevent me to get to Leningrad while it's undefended. But it shouldn't have been undefended in the first place. Oh, we've actually lost the battle. Not like it's gonna matter that much though. Keep going. Well, the good thing is that we have Moscow right now. So we are really damaging the Soviet economy and industry. But at the same time we are strengthening ours. Mm, but our supply situation isn't so good right now. And we 
really gonna need those victory points to make the Soviets surrender. So I'm gonna have to rush to them. Right, this Panzer Division over here is in danger of being encircled, but even if it's encircled, though, they have enough troops to actually take it out. We're actually gonna try and get to Stalingrad now. Ooh, surrender progress 67%. We got Leningrad. So that's why. Attack them with everything we got. Or not everything, just one unit. Alright. So we're gonna push out of Leningrad and try to go to Murmansk. Since it has five victory points. That could really get them even closer to surrendering. Really, only a miracle can save them. And even that. Because we have so many more troops than them and so... And they are so much better equipped. also better trained all right Check the surrender progress. Still 75.3, Okay. Well, they do have way more troops than us over here, and that could be a problem. I'm gonna go for Novgorod, then try to go to Tikhvin.
getting closer and closer to victory. 84.7%, good, good. Oh, they're actually going to try and attack us with HQs. Not going to work, though. We keep winning battles, as usual. Now we're going to want this province over here. We have some F3 divisions to deploy, but I'm not going to do that. Not much of a point. Oh, this is bad. This unit of, uh, of tanks is uh, out of fuel right now, so... It could be a small issue. It's only gonna delay the inevitable though. Oh, and by the way, once once we can... Uh, once we get the Soviet Union to surrender, I'm gonna... start a new Hearts of Iron Let's Play because... it's not much of a point to continue after... they surrender. And I'm probably going to start a new Let's Play using the new expansion for the Motherland. I hope it'll be good. Oh, they actually have a unit in Stalingrad, a garrison. I didn't expect that. <laughs> 